Have you ever dreamed of financial freedom, of breaking free from the shackles of monetary worries and constraints? It's a common aspiration, but the path to financial independence is often misunderstood. It's not just about earning more. It's equally crucial to avoid certain pitfalls. Missteps can derail your journey, leaving you stuck in the cycle of financial stress. But fear not, we have you covered. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the 10 pitfalls to avoid on your journey to financial independence. First and foremost, living beyond your means is a surefire way to sabotage your financial freedom. It's a tantalizing trap, the allure of shiny new things, experiences that promise a fleeting high, all just one swipe or click away. But every dollar spent on non-essentials is a dollar not spent on securing your future. Overspending is like quicksand. The more you struggle, the deeper you sink. It's a cycle of stress, guilt, and regret. On the other hand, budgeting is your compass in the financial wilderness. It helps you navigate your income and expenses, ensuring you never lose your way. Living within your means is not about denying yourself pleasures. It's about making smarter choices, prioritizing needs over wants. It's about understanding the difference between instant gratification and long-term satisfaction. Remember, the key here is to cut your coat according to your cloth. Make your money work for you, not the other way around. Living beyond what you can pay is an absolute no-no. Trying to keep up with the Joneses is one of the dumbest mistakes you can make. What he say again, don't mess with no hose that's messing with your dog. That's law. If you come up, don't forget about your dogs. That's law. I'm a street ninja, so it's bump the law. If you broke ninja, that should be against the law. Next up, ignoring saving and investments. It's like skipping your morning workout and expecting to stay in shape. You might not see the consequences immediately, but over time, the impact becomes glaringly obvious. Saving and investing are two key components of financial health. It's not just about stashing away a part of your paycheck every month. It's about making your money work for you, growing and multiplying over the years. Imagine this. If you start investing just $100 every month at the age of 25, by the time you're 65, you could have a nest egg of over $1 million, assuming an average annual return of 8%. Now picture what happens if you ignore saving and investing until you're 45. Your potential nest egg shrinks dramatically. The moral of the story? Time is your greatest ally when it comes to growing wealth, so don't ignore it. It's never too early to start saving and investing for your future. Pay attention to your finances and act according G. It takes money to make money. On God, don't be scared to make it work for you. Thirdly, accumulating high interest debt. This can be a major roadblock on your path to financial freedom. High interest debt is like a financial quicksand. The more you struggle with it, the deeper you sink. It's a vicious cycle that can feel impossible to break free from. When you borrow money at high interest rates, a large portion of your monthly payments goes towards interest rather than paying down the principal. This means that the actual amount you owe decreases at a glacial pace, keeping you in debt for longer. Moreover, this type of debt often comes with less flexible terms and harsher penalties for late or missed payments. This can lead to additional fees and even higher interest rates, further exacerbating the problem. High interest debt not only drains your resources, but can also create undue stress and anxiety, taking a toll on your overall well-being. To reach financial freedom, you must be savvy about the types of debt you take on. Remember, not all debts are created equal. High interest debt is a trap that you must strive to avoid. It'd be the insecure cornballs to bury themselves with materialistic things for outside validation, because they feel like they need a Lambo for the hose when these hoes still don't even want them. The fourth and fifth pitfalls are neglecting insurance and not having an emergency fund. Let's dive into these. Imagine waking up one day and finding your car stolen, or perhaps a sudden health issue puts you out of work for a few months. These are not pleasant thoughts, but they are realistic possibilities. This is where insurance comes in. It's not just an expense, it's a safety net, a crucial buffer against the unexpected. Similarly, 
An emergency fund is your financial first aid kit, always there to bandage up sudden economic wounds. It's a pool of money set aside to cover large unexpected expenses, such as a job loss or major car repairs. Without it, you may find yourself sinking into debt to cover these unforeseen costs. Remember, financial freedom is not just about making money, it's about protecting it too. As the saying goes, it's better to be safe than sorry. Man, you never know you can get in a shootout today in the hood and not make it out of this one. On my mama, you gotta make sure the family's straight before you gone. The sixth pitfall is not planning for retirement. Now, this might seem like a distant concern, especially if you're in your 20s or 30s, but hear me out. Retirement planning is not about putting your life on hold for a future that seems far away. It's about securing your financial freedom for a time when you'd rather sip margaritas on a beach than work a nine to five. Neglecting your retirement plan can lead to a harsh reality. Imagine being 65, energetic and ready to explore, but your bank account doesn't share your enthusiasm. Or worse, imagine having to work past your retirement age because your savings are not sufficient. A smart approach to retirement planning involves starting early, investing wisely, and staying consistent. It's like planting a tree. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Remember, retirement planning is not an option. It's a necessity. Please don't be that old head mad at the world working in McDonald's where I need to come in and slap the spit out of you on gang. Coming to work, disrespectful to everyone else because deep inside, you knew you were failure at life. The seventh and eighth pitfalls are not understanding taxes and falling for get-rich-quick schemes. Let's start with taxes. They can be complex, but they are an integral part of our financial lives. A lack of understanding can lead to missed deductions, overpayments, and penalties. So, take some time to learn the basics, or better yet, consult with a tax professional. It's a worthy investment that can save you a lot of money in the long run. Now, on to get-rich-quick schemes. They are enticing, aren't they? The promise of instant wealth and easy money. But remember, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. These schemes often involve high risk, and the majority of people who participate lose money. It's a much wiser choice to invest in stable, long-term financial strategies. Knowledge is power, and ignorance can be costly. Make sure to become real familiar with meeting Uncle Sam requirements giving him his cut. You don't want the IRS coming after you like the FBI cause. Even though they might not kick it in your door, they will still target your income and you will lose. You feel me? The ninth and tenth pitfalls are not setting financial goals and failing to monitor your credit. Imagine a ship sailing without a destination. It's likely to drift aimlessly, right? The same applies to your finances. Without clear, well-defined goals, your financial future can become a sea of uncertainty. Goals provide direction, allowing you to navigate towards financial freedom with purpose and determination. They also create a sense of responsibility, pushing you to make smart financial decisions. Now, let's talk about your credit. Monitoring your credit score is like keeping a health check on your financial reputation. It's a number that lenders, landlords, and even some employers use to gauge your credit worthiness. If you're not keeping an eye on it, you might miss signs of identity theft or errors on your credit report. In the long run, these issues can cause serious damage to your credit and hinder your financial freedom. Remember, what gets measured gets managed. Again, on everything I love, fam, most of the time you need to think this way. If I don't have the cash to buy it, I don't need it. You disrespecting and playing with your own money when you need credit to purchase everything. That's my good word. So there you have it. The 10 things to avoid if you want to achieve financial freedom. Let's take a moment to revisit these crucial points. Firstly, it's essential to live within your means. The allure of the high life can be tempting. But remember, the path to financial freedom is paved with discipline and wise spending decisions. Secondly, Never overlook the power of savings and investments. They form the cornerstone of your financial health. They're your best defense against unforeseen circumstances and your ticket to a comfortable future. Thirdly, high interest debt is a trap. 
It's like a snowball rolling downhill, growing bigger and faster with every moment that passes. Avoid it at all costs. Moving on to our fourth point, insurance and an emergency fund are not optional. They're mandatory. They serve as a financial safety net, ensuring that a single unfortunate event doesn't wipe out all your hard-earned savings. Fifthly, retirement planning is not something to be deferred. It's a long-term commitment that requires consistent effort. Start today, regardless of your age. Next up, understanding taxes and avoiding get-rich-quick schemes is crucial. Taxes are a reality of life, and understanding them can save you a lot of money. And remember, if something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Our eighth point stresses the importance of setting financial goals and monitoring your credit. Goals give you a roadmap to follow, and a good credit score can open up many financial opportunities. Each point we've discussed today is an important piece of the financial freedom puzzle. Ignoring any one of them can lead to financial instability and stress. So take these points to heart, apply them in your life, and you'll find yourself on a strong path towards financial freedom. Financial freedom is not a dream, but a journey. And knowing what not to do is just as important as knowing what to do. Safe travels on your financial journey. Achieving financial freedom is a journey. And like any journey, there are obstacles along the way. By being aware of the common financial pitfalls we discussed, you can take proactive steps to avoid these roadblocks. Now, if you still here and new to this channel, you need to go ahead and beat the mess out of that like and subscribe button because they owe you money for making it this far into the video. Peep game though, this channel got you my G, click one of the two videos popping up to continue to receive that money making value. Remember, financial freedom is not about deprivation or sacrifice. It's about mindful decision making, setting priorities and aligning your spending with your values and goals. With discipline, patience and a consistent approach, you can navigate these pitfalls and pave the way to a secure and fulfilling financial future. On my soul. The road may not be easy, but the rewards of financial freedom, the ability to live life on your own terms, unlimited BBLs, pursue your passions, and leave a lasting legacy, make the journey worthwhile, homie. Stay focused, stay committed, and keep moving forward, one step at a time. You feel me? See you in the next one.